Hey, what's going on Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and I hope you guys have had yourselves a wonderful slate of wonderful holidays. Coming off the back end of nice old Thanksgiving, good old Turkey Day, I hope you guys got as much trip to fan as your bodies can handle. I hope it puts you out like the itis does to me every single year, and I hope you're making use of some of those Black Friday Cyber Monday deals to spend all of that hard-earned cash on things you'll realize you never really needed about five seconds after they get to your house. What's going on, everybody? It's been quite some time since you've heard from me, and quite some time since I made a video for you. So let's go ahead and rectify that real quick. I hope you guys have been well. I hope you enjoyed your holiday weekend. I know I did. This is basically the first full weekend I have had off in like the last three months. You can take one look at the channel or one look at any of the recent live streams we've had and you know exactly what's going on with your boy. It has been non-stop work for me. Life and management is hard. When you work in the logistics industry, basically being Santa for the rest of the world, this time of year gets real busy. A whole lot of gift lists to fill, a whole lot of that naughty and nice, and a whole lot of stockings full of coal going out this year. I don't know what y'all are thinking, but you need to think it again. But... I am thankful for the weekend, that's something I can say I'm super thankful for, and this Thanksgiving I'm thankful for my time off, and I'm thankful that I actually had some time to play some video games. And man, have I been playing some games over the past two or so days. I gotta say, one game I have been playing a whole heck of a lot of is some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is Call of Duty Activision's latest offering in the Call of Duty franchise, Modern Warfare 2, binging off the nostalgia of the classic 2009 title. Of course, you guys know my favorite Call of Duty of all time. I have been playing it since its release, and uh, mm, do I have some opinions on this game? Not exactly the best game, but hear me out. There's definitely some stuff going on with Modern Warfare 2. You see, I'm playing out here on the shoot house playlist with some shotgun gameplay for you guys. This game, there's something about it, man. In spite of Infinity Ward's best efforts to make this an awful, awful title, I'm still having kind of a lot of fun with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. That's right, I'm actually still really kind of enjoying my time in this game, and it's weird to me. I haven't made a video ranting about all the problems of this game yet, but if you have spent any time on Call of Duty YouTube, you know the issues with this game. It's all the same issues from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, but turned up to 11. Most of the maps aren't great, although they're better than the launch maps in Modern Warfare 2019, can't lie about that. The skill-based matchmaking is choking the life out of this game. You guys know how I feel about SBMM. I think it has no place in a casual experience, especially a casual FPS experience, and they just keep shoving it right on down your throat, and it is definitely thick in this game. And there's a lot of other weird design choices that Infinity Ward made, like uh, the crazy focus on Warzone, although that is their big money maker, I get it, but you can tell in all of the maps in this, all of the maps are basically small cutouts from larger in or er, invasion and ground war <laughs> war zone light maps and they really don't have the best flow that classic three lane feel is all but gone from call of duty and that's why i love the map we're playing on right now shoot house finally returned to modern warfare a week or so ago and this is the one map that makes 6v6 worth playing for those of you who didn't play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, Shoot House is a classic three-lane map. It's small scale, none of that crazy three-mile aisle nonsense that you see in some of the other maps that have come out in some of these base Call of Duty games. This feels like a classic 2009 to 2013 era Call of Duty map thrust into the new age. And man, does it play great. There really is so much to like about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It feels great, it looks great, the gun plays really good. Uh, even though they did some really questionable stuff with like all of the perk selection, I don't like the perk unlock system for the game where you basically have to level up a million different guns to get a red dot sight for the one gun you want to use. But even in, like I said before, in spite of all the dumb design decisions Infinity Ward has dropped upon us, 
This game is still really fun to play. I've had a lot of fun doing some class setups. As you can see, I'm running around here with the shotgun, basically just trying to complete some gold challenges. I'm getting all the shotguns to gold first. I got half the assault rifles to gold and then decided I didn't want to do any more of those. I wanted to punish myself by playing with the shotguns, which are some of the most inconsistent things in the history of Call of Duty. Like, man, it's crazy that we went from the super powerful shotguns in Modern Warfare 29 to like the absolute dog water that is shotguns for the most part here in Modern Warfare 2 just a few years later. I don't know if Infinity Ward was scared of the power of shotguns in Modern Warfare 2019 because they kept a lot of the same things. We've got the Dragon's Breath. I mean, you see that. I just, I just laid two shots center mass into this dude with a shotty and like it did absolutely nothing to him. He just walked through it, just he manned right through it and uh, put me down like Skeletor on a Saturday morning. So it's definitely weird, but I've been able to work out some class setups. I've gotten basically all but the Expedite 12 up to gold, which is what I'm working on here in this video. Maybe I'll show a quick little clip of uh, <laughs> of the class setup for it that actually made it usable. And I'm just getting my final, my final gold challenges for it done right now, which I think is something simple. Thankfully, gold challenges in this game are really, really easy to get done for the most part. And for uh, the shotguns, once you've got them up to the gold step, you basically just have to get like at least for the expedites, you just have to get uh, 10 different instances of you getting three kills without dying. That's really, really easy, especially when you're playing on a decent map that you know well, like Shoot House. Man, if they just had a few more maps like Shoot House in this game, it, it'd, be, it'd be a completely different experience. I would 100% be able to recommend this game to absolutely everybody. So again, don't get me wrong, it's fun. This game is, when it's working well, it's fun. But the only way I can generally have this level of fun in the 6v6 playlist. So, you know, I'm not talking about Warzone if you're a fan of Warzone or DMZ or any of that. I might have another video talking about DMZ a little bit later. It's an interesting game mode. But in six in 6v6, in the core sixes game mode, man, it's just so hard to have fun in the garbage maps that they put out in base game. And I know we're supposed to be getting a bunch of other classic reworked maps, and I know a lot of people give uh, Infinity Ward, they give them a lot of crap for relying upon nostalgia. Me, you know, I'm all about that. Throw in as much nostalgia as possible, because the maps you've got in this, this game right now are kind of garbage outside of just one or two. Give me Afghan. Give me Terminal. Give me Dome. <laughs> you best be giving me Dome. Give me all of the best maps from Modern Warfare uh, and, and, and Call of Duty's history that generally work better than the nonsense we've got right now. I mean, I, I, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. They haven't made really good maps in a long time anyway outside of stuff like Shoot House. So uh, I'll take all the classic maps I can get. And once this game gets a few more of those, then I'd probably be able to recommend it if you're a fan of Basic Sixes. You're just looking for a casual shooting experience. There's a lot to offer here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And man, if they just made a few small changes, if they toned down that skill-based matchmaking, if they reworked a few of the maps and a few of the, the measures in the game, because right now, it's just like Modern Warfare 2019, this game heavily incentivizes camping. I mean, you got resupply, you got double uh, uh, double clay biscuits, as, as my boy Thunder calls them. You can just sit back and camp forever in this game. And it's weird that they made it that way, but they also made the movement really, really fun and crazy and fluid in this game. There are definitely a few things they need to tamp down, specifically stuff like footstep audio. Man, if you can play this game without a headset and be perfectly fine because the footsteps are so loud, everyone and their mother down the street can hear them. And it's a pretty blatantly big problem. It basically means if you're a player with even a modicum of skill, which I'm not, you know, I suck at the game. Look at look at my old behind. You're not going to see me running and jump shot in corners and being successful in any of that. I'm too old for all of that. The movement in this game is crazy, and there are a lot of movement kitties out jumping and supermaning across the map. That That's not me. I'll do a little hop here or there, but <laughs> your boy mostly stays on the ground. But if you're playing in a sixes map, and I know some of y'all who have been playing Call of Duty, 
sound off in the comment section below. You know how crazy it gets when you're just playing with anybody who's listening in. It's so easy to hear things coming. It makes rushing really, really painful in this game for most of the maps, except on small stage maps like this. And the only reason rushing works on small maps like this is because <laughs> everybody's so close to one another. The footsteps are basically non-stop for people who are trying to sound whore in the game. That's all they hear is footsteps from everybody. It's coming from all over the place. So it kind of throws them off a little bit so you can actually rush and play this like you would a classic Call of Duty game. That's probably one of the biggest things next to skill-based matchmaking that Infinity Ward should probably tune down. You think after <laughs> the initial complaints about uh, about footsteps, they would work on that. But no, they actually made footsteps even louder in their first big patch. Like I said before, man, questionable decisions by the dev house here in a lot of the things that they're doing. It's It's kind of crazy. But if they fix a few of those things, they tamp down on some of the, 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 the camping tools made for CODs, you know, Babby's first COD player. They really have something special here. And that's really kind of the tragic part of it. This game, when it's on, when you're in a match like this, when you're playing like this, it's fun. Everybody's moving around, you're having a good time, you're finding a variety of different players. But this could be the entire game all the time if Infinity Ward would just work to fix a few of the issues that they've got going on right now. I hope they do, I pray they do. If they do, this could legitimately be the greatest Call of Duty game of all time. And I say that as somebody who's played every darn one of them except Van Garbage. This could really be something special, but I don't think Infinity Ward's gonna, they're not gonna fall back on some of their specific design choices here. I think they might be a little too prideful for that and it's just not the kind of game they wanna play. But at the very least, they gave us Shoot House, and if uh, in the future they at least give us like a, a small maps playlist, like a, a Shoot the Ship playlist from Modern Warfare 20, uh, 2019 with some, some classic stuff like Terminal and Dome and all those great maps from our history, I'll just stay in there for the rest of my Call of Duty life and I will be perfectly fine. Yeah, there you go, a nice little 6413 gameplay. Probably the best game I've had on uh, Modern Warfare 2 since it dropped, and with a shoddy no less. Although you can, th you can thank the, the nice setup of VTOLs that I kind of threw out there for quite a bit of that work. But alright guys, I just want to give you a quick update on what I've been playing, how I feel about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It's really, really fun when it works, but man, Infinity Ward and their decisions are standing in the way of it. Hopefully we can see this game continue to improve as it moves on, but right now, if you want to catch your boy playing the game, I'll either be in Invasion, Ground War, or the Shoot House playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feels nice to do a classic Call of Duty commentary like I used to do way back in the day, baby. Feels real good. Don't worry, you'll hear back from me real soon. But for now, as always, I am the Black Link. You guardians, stay frosty.